guys, RTT back here for another video guys. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new Apple Watch Series 6, comparing it with all the new features to the Apple Watch Series 5. How much different are these two bad boys? Guys, today we're gonna find that out. I'm gonna tell you my review, whether or not you should pick it up. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Hey guys, so now let's talk about the cosmetic differences. Now, of course, both these guys do come in 33 and 30 millimeter uh, sizes. Now, of course, these are both 33 millimeters I am currently holding in my hand. But again, these do come in smaller sizes. Now, the difference between these exact uh, builds right here, is this is aluminum with the Series 5, and the Series 6 is stainless steel. Now, of course, you can still get aluminum build with the Series 6. It's just I went ahead and opted in to get the Series 6 stainless steel which is also a cellular type watch now you do not have to use the cellular functionality in order to go ahead and use the series 6 cellular uh, edition but again it's a nice little edition it's like ten dollars a month if you would like to go ahead and have you know an iphone on your actual iPhone on your watch. Again, you don't even have to have the phone with you when you go out. But I don't know how many people nowadays go out places and they don't bring their iPhone. I mean, these things are always strapped to our side, so it's really hard to imagine someone doesn't have their iPhone on them. But if you don't, it's actually a really great addition. Now, like I said, size, comparison, everything's the same. These, if you didn't know the difference, obviously because of the stainless steel, if these were both silver and they were both you know aluminum builds you would probably look at them and say which one's series 6 one's series 5 because all the differences come under the hood of the series 6 series 6 first off it has better battery life has a better touch screen and it also gives a blood oxygen level which going ahead and just talking about that real fast i actually do have a blood oxygen little level meter that i use obviously right now with the whole situation going on i want to make sure my blood oxygen is good i will say it's not awful this series six when it comes to your blood oxygen level but keep in mind guys when you get your blood oxygen level you get it through your finger and this is on your wrist so the whole idea is it bounces a laser through your finger and then reads it back imagine your wrist is what's bouncing back not your finger yeah it was around four percent off which they tell you apple was very very clear with this do not think that you're going to get this and it's going to be the most accurate thing ever it is not a medical device guys it is not it is accurate to a fault do not think this is going to be really that amazing now i have had this device for around three days now and whenever i do my reviews i want to at least have the device for three days now because that of course is a good you know time period to kind of use the device day in and day out kind of see what i think about it might be a further review down the road you know in like six uh, six months or a year and see how i like even more by then we'll probably have a series seven come out so with that in mind though it's a really really good device now like I said, I'm not taking advantage of the cellular con connectivity to this. That is definitely something that I know if you are a fan of using cellular devices, like maybe you have an iPad that has cellular, you have an app, iMac, or iMac, not iMac, a MacBook that has cellular and you really love that angle, it's just gonna continue. It's gonna be the same exact thing as your Series 5. And that's kind of what it is. I mean, like I said, guys, whenever Apple comes out with a new product, a lot of times it's a gimmick. From the iPhone 10 to the XS, you kind of got a gimmick. You got a little bit better features, and that was pretty much it. I'll say the real true difference is what we saw with the iPhone 11 Pro to the 12 Pro and then 12 Pro Max. We actually saw a difference in an upgrade, which is why I upgraded personally, but we're not gonna see that much when it comes to the Apple Watches. Now, obviously there's cosmetic differences, stainless steel versus non-stainless steel, but I believe you can get a stainless steel edition with the Series 6, uh, Series 5. So I don't think that's really a big, big difference, like I said, but it is something there. I mean, if you wanna get the stainless steel and you currently have aluminum, this is your chance to go ahead and get the stainless steel. Now, of course, everything else is pretty much identical, like I said. It's not much difference when it comes to anything 
outside of just uh, hardware now battery life like i said is a little bit better i've gotten more battery life personally using this than i've used on my series five which again that's just personal you know my day-to-day -day use everyone's uh, will vary depending on how much you use your apple watch if you use your apple watch a crap ton it might use a little bit flat go a little bit faster but personally speaking how i use my apple watch is i put it on when i wake up i use it for you know tracking uh, steps that kind of stuff i go to work i'm a cashier i'm you know moving around all day i come home Am I on my Apple Watch 24 seven? No. Am I checking notifications, text, music, that kind of stuff, always listen to music? Yes. So I definitely say I am above average when it comes to using my Apple Watch. I easily get one to two days out of it. And with this new Apple Watch, I'm looking around three days. So again, is it impossible to say that you can, personally speaking, you know, I'm sorry, is it to say this a crazy better battery? No. Is it a better battery in my opinion? Yes, I've not looked at the specs. I'll probably put the specs on the screen to show you guys exactly what it is. But like I said, personally speaking, it is performing better for me than you know my old Apple Watch, which again, this one's not old. Keep in mind guys, this Apple Watch right here is actually currently, I got it last year. So it's not like, I. this is not like I got it when it first came out. I actually got it literally very recently so again i upgraded should you upgrade my opinion is going to be no i really don't think there's a point to upgrade i know a lot of people are going to be like oh my god but the blood oxygen level and that's nice and all and that's a really cool feature and a really cool addition is the blood oxygen level but at the end of the day it's going to cost you probably what at least you get the aluminum build 400 dollars to upgrade if you sell this one, you probably will get 200 to 300 dollars. So that is somewhat nice to get some cheddar back, but blood oxygen is not 100 percent accurate. It's definitely, again, like I said, guys, <laughs> it is definitely not worth the upgrade. But it is still a beautiful device. And if you have the money laying around, you're like, whatever, or you, this is your first Apple Watch. Uh, could I personally went from Apple Watches? to galaxy watches one week later back to apple watches because galaxy watches ah uh, it's it's very buggy very very buggy kind of what you expect out of android uh with that in mind guys that's pretty much it for my review if you did enjoy this video make sure like and comment down below tell me your thoughts and opinions do you love it do you hate it have you guys gotten the new apple watch and if you have how do you like it i'll see you guys in the next one peace out